Hey, everybody. What's up? Welcome back to another bonus Supernatural Friday episode of Hops Geek News, a podcast that talks about comic books, movies, TV shows, and a beer of the week. Like I said, Supernatural Friday, so you know we're back with the hard-hitting Season 4, Episode 19, through Season 5, Episode 2. I have watched up to that point. We are rolling along. Supernatural Fridays is a thing that we do because I started watching Supernatural, and so we're talking about it. We're just vibing. We're talking about it. If you want to support the show, Hops Geek News on any podcasting platform, leave a five-star review. That's how we can grow. Go ahead, share with a friend, subscribe, YouTube, all that good stuff. Follow us on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, join our Facebook group page, all that stuff. Social media, it's all Hops Geek News. And then if you feel so inclined to help the podcast, go ahead, patreon.com slash hops geek news. Everything goes right back into the show. I'm Matt with me is Lauren and this beer I'm drinking this week is from Anchorage Brewing Company called Road Trip. And that is a 6.4% IPA brewed with Eldorado Incognito fermented with Theol boosting yeast Double dry hopped with Strata and Nelson Savin hops. Like I said, from Anchorage Brewing, this art is by Massive Face. It says, are we there yet? I have no idea. I chose it because we're talking about the apocalypse. If you can see on YouTube, and this person looks like he's ready for the apocalypse. So I will post yeah. the picture. You can come see well, it. Well, on road so trip. Quiet. I mean, that's perfect for every season and of Supernatural. Yes. It is nice and hazy, delicious. I've never had Anchorage Brewing before, so I'm excited to try it. I get that here now. I thought it was honestly a different brewery when I grabbed it, so that's my bad. But hey, it worked out. <laughs> All right, so I am drinking a beer I've probably drank on here before. Uh, Cosmic Thought Double New England IPA at 8.5% from Calusa Brewing. But I figure, you know, Cosmic Thought, like Castiel's having a lot of cosmic thoughts. you're right. Those Cosmic Thoughts. Damn, that's the downfall of Thanos. Nope. <laughs> uh, I don't. I'm too old for that. Speak. I, I don't understand what you're saying. Do I need oh, to have my kids come mind. translate? All right, go ahead. <laughs> so, Castiel is having some cosmic thoughts. Yeah, he is. He's rebelling, and now he's looking for God. Aren't we all? Yeah. <laughs> So we, uh, we're going to start this episode with Season 4, Episode 19, Jump the Shark. Sam and Dean are on a hunting trip when they receive a call from Adam Milligan, who is trying to find John Winchester, claiming to be his son. Oof. Yeah, poor Adam. Poor, poor Adam. So why don't you take us through the fun facts before we get into this episode? So I didn't understand why this one was called Jump the Shark. So I did some Googling. Obviously, Jump the Shark is a common known phrase from Happy Days where the Fonz literally jumped over a shark while skiing. And they had said, the guys should have ended the show before this. Like, it took it too long. And now it is the goal of every good show, I feel like, to not jump the shark, to get out before you jump the shark. So it didn't make sense to me. Like, why are you doing this, you know, so early? What's happening? So the connection is that beer looks beautiful is uh, the Winchesters meet Adam at cousin Oliver's restaurant. This is a reference to cousin Oliver from the Brady Bunch. Cousin Oliver was brought in during the final cousin. season in an attempt to recapture the cuteness of a young child because all of the other Brady's were not as cute anymore and they were too old. Um, and Adam is the younger new family member. So it's actually a cute little Stretch. I did not a pick up the cousin Oliver. What happens at all. to Adam in this episode? Yeah. yeah. So uh, he claims to be the son of John he Winchester. Is. He well, he is. So there's yeah, pictures, well, everything like that. Dean and Sam. Sam's a little more understanding. Dean's like, "Fuck you, buddy." He's pissed. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I would be too, right? Your took dad him to had baseball a, games. He never went. But they're they, both mad that the other one got the father that they think that they wanted. Yeah, which I'd rather have the one that goes to baseball games than hunting demons. I'd rather be ignorant to this whole thing. But, but the baseball dad was a once a year dad. The hunting dad was still a shit father. I'm not uh, never going to defend John Winchester. John Winchester was real shitty. He had the only one worse was Mary. Does that, mean he, does that mean he cheated on Mary then? No. This was oh, actually. Wait, no, she died. she died when they were kids. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. I had yeah. My bad. Uh, Sam was six months old when she died. That's right. I, my bad. Still, John, what are you doing, buddy? You didn't tell your kids? Look, like, what the hell? He was trying to protect Adam. He didn't want Adam to be drugged into the hunter lifestyle. Well, 
unbeknownst to Adam, he's killed by ghouls. That's so, the thing. That it's like out? all of these people, you know, oh, you want to get out, you want to get out. And yeah, you now know that Mary, I always have to think before I speak, which is a good idea in general, just to do, not just when you're trying not to spoil a show for, for your friend, um, that Mary wanted out. But that's the thing. You're still vulnerable. And if you don't teach the next generation how to protect themselves, it's like they too Laurie vulnerable. Strode in Halloween. You got to be there prepared. You go. Because you, you never know yeah. when Michael Myers is going to come knocking. And lo and behold, Michael Myers came knocking and killed Adam, which also kind of sucks that they introduced this. They kind of brushed past it really fast that there's another half Winchester out there and then he gets killed in the same episode and then they just don't talk about it again. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, no, I it was, to to my knowledge right now they don't talk about it again. So it kind of sucks that like poor Adam just dusted in that episode and that's it. And Sam's high on demon blood. He's over here going crazy. And there's already a I, Sam is not my favorite person right now. If it's not clear, Sam is not He's my favorite. He's all high. Person. He's getting high. He's an addict. Can't help himself. Off that demon blood, baby. Oh, Ruby. That demon blood is that Ruby it's booty. Better than Ovaltine. Uh, drink more Ovaltine. Well. Sam was drinking a lot of blood. Didn't get him many places. Season 20 or episode 20, the rapture Castiel has been sent back to heaven. His human host, Jimmy six callers ahead of us. Jimmy tries Jimmy to regain his life, but the demons just, it's not that easy. You don't just get out of this game. And now Jimmy's family's at risk. Sam and Dean it's like the mafia. Help. Exactly. You don't just get out. John right. wick, Mr. Wick, the whacked. Baba Yaga. Where you stay in. They're going to need a miracle to win. Yeah, we get, to meet, we get to see what's happened with Jimmy. Jimmy and his family were very religious. He has a daughter. He's got a wife. They they said grace. They did everything right. Jimmy thought he was a vessel through God and that this angel was speaking to him. He was open to bigger and better things. And think about that. That's interesting because Castiel said that he tried to talk to Dean in his regular voice and Dean couldn't understand him. And he had expected Dean to be able to understand him because what you now know, what you learned in the beginning of season five, Dean is Michael's vessel. And so he's strong enough to be able to hold an archangel, but he still couldn't hear Castiel's real voice. Well, Jimmy Novak could. That's crazy. So that is interesting. I love, though, how good Misha Collins is at Castiel because Castiel and Jimmy Novak do not look or sound the same. Uh, they kind of look, a, well, obviously. Well, you know what I mean, but, but like they their don't, mannerisms. No, they're very different. Yes. Castiel yes. is very neat chapstick, very subdued. And Jimmy is very <laughs> uh, um, hydrated. Well, Jimmy, I believe is his real voice. And Misha Collins has even said if he had known he was going to play Cass for more than a few episodes, he probably wouldn't have done such a deep voice because he would have um, times where he would have to like just like drink like lemon water or tea or something because his voice would be so strained from doing that deep voice. I'm the one I'm who worked too tight and raised I'm an angel. Lumbered. Where's yeah. the trigger? They would never give it to an ordinary citizen. Well, and he also, when he was portraying an angel, he was unaware that that was going to be only his persona of an angel. Mm -hmm. So when all these other angels showed up and knew all, all this pop culture, he was like, oh, wait, I thought that's what we were going for because we're angels. We're not watching Star Wars. You know, we're not watching, you know, that's, any other I'm down for that. If I'm an angel, I'm watching all the television. Like, G well, the uh, demons know every ounce of pop culture out there. They, they are do. so well versed. They could host a a pop culture they podcast. They could do a beer podcast, you know? Who knows? That it is what it is. But yeah, it was fun to see Cass as or I guess Misha as Jimmy. Yeah. And actually before it becomes Castiel, while sleeping in his chair, Jimmy Novak was watching Sid Roth's It's Supernatural, which came out in 1996. And this is my a boy, quote that Dean says it's actually kind of funny. You used to be strong enough to kill Alistair. Now you can't even kill a uh, stunt demon number three. I'm guessing that that he was stunt demon number three. So that's yeah. kind of funny. It is. It is. And yeah, it, it is interesting because Alistair keeps coming back and fuck, can we just get rid of this guy already? He, and uh, it was, it, this was a good episode because it's, it's tragic, right? Jimmy's mm -hmm. wife becomes, she gets taken over by a demon and then Cass goes into Jimmy's daughter and then he's gets Claire. shot. 
And he's like, please, me, no. And then Cass is like, all right, if I come into your body, you can never see your family again. And he's like, all right, deal. So it's kind of do whatever he can to protect Claire and Amelia. Yeah. Well, they thought he was dead. He just like Mm -hmm. upped and left one night after Cass took over and Cass has no emotions. He's an angel. And so they thought he was dead. He comes back. Hey, it's you. Yeah, I'm done doing the angel thing. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. (laughs) Well, then he starts to tell her lies. Right. And he's he's back in the game, man. Which it is so interesting that it's like, well, you believe in God, you believe in angels, and then the second somebody tries this? to talk, like they really experience it, they're like, okay, you're crazy. They're like, all so, right, they're crazy guys. So it's like, you do don't, you really believe in this? Right. So you know, kudos to Jimmy. Again, that's he put my his issue with religion, right? Mm. Money where his mouth is. It's my issue with religion again, just because it's like y'all believe in all this stuff, but the second like some you got to be decent to another person, you're ready to not be de- in any ways. <laughs> I, I have issues i gotta work through uh, everybody does but yeah including it, jimmy novak and his family well jimmy's no more because jimmy died and cast there is no jimmy there is only zool or Cass. <laughs> and in this case so i believe he still has jimmy inside of him i'm not I sure bet he does i don't know if it's i don't know we'll talk about it later I'll yeah. there yet. Probably not. So episode 21, when the levee breaks, it's a Led Zeppelin song. Sam's locked inside Bobby's panic room to free his body from the demon blood. But when events outside start getting serious, Bobby wants to release him, and Dean is forced to ask Castiel for help. <gasps> yeah. They got it. You know what? What do you do with an addict? You throw him in a room, you lock him up, and you let him get the shivers out, which is what happens. And this is where. Sam sees Alistair again. He goes through the other demons. All of that good stuff. Sees his mom. He's going through the shit. He's he's an addict. Yeah. Well, in these last two episodes, some of it's, I guess, the addiction. And I think more of it, though, is the angels changing what Dean says. Because, you know, Sam's like, not you. Because, you know, Dean. Well, yeah. Dean was trying to call him. And then the angels were putting through the phone, as it turns out. Right. They were making it mean rather than Dean was being nice. But I think, like, because Dean helped raise Sam, it's like, you know, you're my parent-esque like you're supposed to have unconditional love you're not supposed to say this thing and he wasn't saying those things to him so it's a little bit extra heartbreaking it is fucking angels and i look i'm on dean's side man sam's out of pocket okay sam's a hundred percent out of pocket and we'll see why the angels are and the demons both sides are encouraging him to be like that the angels are no better as we, we come to find right. out, right? In the right, that the angels finale. want Lucifer to rise. That fucking guy. That fucking guy. These fucking angels. I have, like, anytime I see any of them come on screen, I'm like, bad guy, right there. You're up to no good. And as we see in the season finale. Started making trouble the, in the neighborhood. The apocalypse is nearing. The angels tell Dean that his moment of glory is approaching because Dean is the key to defeating Lucifer, allegedly. Sam and Ruby go to take Lilith. So. The but they first lied. episode this season was Lazarus rising. If you know anything, the Lazarus pit. Boop. Guess what happens in a Lazarus pit, Ross? Raish, I should say. Raish. Come back to life. And so in the scene with Dean, Cass, and Chuck, just as the archangel attacks, the episode's title, Lucifer Rising, can be seen written on Chuck's computer, which is fitting because that's the name. And all his previous supernatural books were titled with the names of actual episodes. A little fun fact for you. I didn't know that. Okay, so what did you think when Ruby showed her true colors? Bro, we should have never trusted Ruby to begin with. That's what Dean's been saying. I mean, look, Ruby was all about, let's have sex and you can drink my blood. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She knew what was going to (laughs) happen this whole time. Captain Hook says a jealous woman can be tricked into anything. Uh, No, a horny guy can be tricked into anything. Sam was literally. (laughs) You had it wrong, Captain Hook. Sam was so fooled that he married her. How could you? <laughs> so How could you? Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the key to the the final seal was Lilith dying by Sam. The angels bring Dean to a safe room and they're like, you're just going to chill here, man, until this whole thing goes down. Here's uh, burgers and beer. Here's some burgers. Here's some beer. We kind of knew this was happening. Yeah, you're you're the key. And Dean's like, dude, you're angels. WTF? What about all the people that are going to die? But he wasn't the key. They just wanted him out of the way because they needed Sam to be exactly. Sam there. had to do what he needed to do, which was kill yeah. Lilith, which is bring Lucifer out. The which final is start seal. the apocalypse. 
everybody, everybody's just shitty. Dean, you're not shitty. No, sir. You and they, Bobby. You yeah. and Bobby are not. You're pure. So Sam had to be the final seal, but he also needed to be there for Lucifer, which I yes. don't know if you've gotten to that yet. I haven't. But, I so Ruby, um, like kudos to her, man. When she's like, I am the best villain ever. Like think about all the things she did. That's like she true. had to get tortured. She had to kill other demons. Like, and she was in on it with Lilith the entire time. So it was she like stabbed and killed. Just didn't even yeah. see it happen. But she had the long con. Damn it, Ruby. Dean was right. She's again. Like, I'm amazing. I love that she's like talking herself up about how she's good she is. Like, yes. And I you did. do see it at the end when she like slams the door when Dean comes running. Like that was when you were like, yes. oh, because this is an altruistic Cass. Dean's basically like, Cass, the hell, man. And Cass is like, okay, you're right. He abos, he, you know, he kicks the demon, the other angels out, sends Dean to go and try to stop Sam from killing Lilith. Dean gets there. They're in a riff and the doors shut because Ruby. And that's when you're like, don't trust a hoe. Never trust a hoe. Don't 303 anybody. Okay. Anyways. Whole just thing. Let you keep singing. It was a whole thing. Don't, you know, don't trust me. Any, you can't trust Ruby because she wanted this to happen. And Margot Robbie's knockoff Lilith was like, yes. And uh, Satan's coming. Satan's coming. That's where the season ends. Satan's rising. There's a giant bright light coming out. Dean's like. Did it show me. Cash showing up at, at Chuck's house? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. They go to Chuck's okay. house first. My bad. And. Chuck's no, it's okay. Like, I just is, haven't watched this, this one in a minute. This is supposed to happen. What the hell? There you go. That's what I was wondering if that was yes. this up. Yeah. And then so that's that when the Archangel like, starts to come and Cass is like, I'll hold him off for as long as I can. And then Dean gets sent. And that whole but thing that was, down. you know, Chuck should have seen this. So these scenes where Chuck, Chuck is unaware of what's happening and he's like, I didn't write this. Those scenes are so important. Oh, they are? They're so important. And that's all I will say. God dang it. <laughs> Freaking ch- oh, this is why that. when you finish the show, you have to go back and rewatch the whole fucking thing. No, well, maybe, but dang it. All right. Well, <laughs> oh, let's believe me, after you watch the last episode, you're just going to want to go right back to yeah. watching Mary burn on the ceiling. Probably not. But well, maybe at some point. The first. We'll the, the, OK, so to wrap up my kind of thoughts on season four, I liked it. I hate Sam right now. Nope. Dean. Precious baby. Cassiel, precious baby. Sam, donkey. Stupid donkey. Well, he's not a donkey. Get out of here. Uh, but it was a good season, man. This this was like one of one of one of the top tier seasons of television. I gotta say, if you're especially for CW and stuff. So it was top tier. Loved it. And uh things are getting serious. So season five, mm-hmm. episode one, sympathy for the devil, a Rolling Stone song. Sam, Dean, and Bobby. Bobby? God damn it, Bobby. Deal with the aftermath of the devil, who is played on Mark Pellegrino, rising from hell. Chuck has stunning news for the brothers. Um, so before we talk about it, uh, here's my little bit of fun fact. So the cram it with walnuts ugly is a Homer Simpsons quote. Dean says it to the angels. I love when he's in the, <laughs> when they go to the storage unit. Oh, yay. The angels are here. He's so sarcastic. I did. That, that, okay, that got a chuckle out of me. And he was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, the angels here. And he was like, cram it chuckles. And just the yeah. things he calls him. I'm like, Dean, you're so endearing. Like Damn he knows it. they can throw him right back into hell, but he also knows that he's, to an he extent that he's me, protected as yeah. well, but he's still scared because he knows he's shit, not no matter protected. what, like Dean does. Like I talk, sh- I'm like, Dean. I talk a lot of shit and I will talk shit. If I'm in a losing situation, I will talk shit. If I'm in a winning situation, I don't care if I'm going down, I'm going down talking shit. And I respect the hell out of Dean for doing just that with these stupid ass m- Judas. A bunch of Judas. That's what they are. Stupid angels. Because God, they, they even say like God's on vacation. So God, like, did he have no idea? He had no idea this was going down while his angels are doing stupid shit. Jesus Christ. Where are you at, Jesus? Speaking of. They, that's one thing I will say. They don't ever talk about Jesus. That's interesting. It is Well, I guess it yeah, makes sense because across all religions, Jesus, like, 
isn't the Messiah for everybody. Christian but it, it's interesting is, that, but, that 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 was the line they drew, or maybe they just didn't have any. It was never relevant. I don't know. I kind of wish only, that there was like a scene where Jesus just rose up out of nowhere and he's just like, "Dean, my boy, what's up, pimp?" Or I would have loved a scene where it was like Christmas and Cassiel being like, "Did you know that Jesus was not actually born?" And like just giving like the facts. That would have been cool. Yeah, I am yeah, interested the, why Jesus never made an appearance or a reference. Yeah, I don't know if that was intentional or just, you know, we, we didn't need to. It had to but be. there was a reference of him in one of the uh, webisodes with the ghost facers where Castiel Jesus. shows up and they go, Jesus Christ. And he's like, no, I'm Castiel. Yes, so yes, yes. They did that. Uh, so we get Meg back, but it's Meg. Rachel Minor Meg. So I'm very excited. I love this Meg. I like the other Meg, too. Oh, she's going to this- be around more often. This Meg is near and dear to my heart a little bit. So I actually want to talk about the actress just real quick. Okay. So uh, Rachel Miner, not long after she was cast, was diagnosed with MS. They find ways to keep her in the show a little bit, even with the MS. And we'll see that, you know, you see that a bit later. But what's really sweet is uh, a few years back, Sam, Dean, Cass, Chuck, and another character you haven't met yet. And somebody else that is part of the show or friends with them or whatever decided they were going to do this bad idea tour. And part of the bad idea tour was to do the Seattle marathon. And it was part of the team doing this random acts of kindness and raising money uh, to feed children who are hungry. Well, for the first, uh, oh, and this is a quote from the website, will endure 26.2 miles of pulled muscles, chafed nipples and out of breath whining. But with your support, we'll get over the finish line. And, uh, Rachel Miner, they pushed, they took turns pushing her in a wheelchair for the first few miles. And it was so sweet. And you can see like the pictures of them after they're across the finish line and stuff. And she's in the wheelchair and she looks, she's just grinning ear to ear and, you know, they're all around her. So it's really cool because, you know, it's a show about angels and demons and evil people. And then when you see like that, these people are like some of the nicest people behind the scenes that are playing these demons. Uh, But yes, Meg is back. Meg's not going anywhere uh, right away. And yeah, I love the actress. I love the character. I, I, she just, they keep recycling the same three demons, which is funny to me. I'm sorry, but that's, that's super cool. You that, haven't met the best demon yet, though. You're going to meet him soon. <laughs> okay, sweet. Well, it was super cool that uh, she came back in again. Oh my like, God, you're so close. It's crazy to me that, like, of all the people that the devil could have inhabited, they're, like, you could have been Leonardo DiCaprio, Bradley Cooper, Jonathan oh, Majors. Give him time. Give him time. They chose this random ass bum. Come on. You jump in the gun, dude. And I'll I'll get to that point because that's my dude here at the end of this episode. I get it. He went through some traumatizing stuff. His his wife and kid were brutally murdered. He was so easily swayed, though. Lucifer was like, what's up, baby? I just need to go into you. Let's do this. And he was like, Okay. And nothing left to live for. He's like, okay, whatever. Let's let's bring about the apocalypse officially. Let's get this party started. I'm like, dude, you whatever. I can't fault him. He's right. And the, I mean, the devil is playing pretty lucid tricks on him too, which is kind of messed up. But um, Dean's pissed, understandably. Dean is just this this rift between Sam and Dean continues to grow. Oh, you do have to keep in mind real quick with Lucifer. He is an angel, so he needs permission. He can't just possess anybody like yes. other demons. Yes. Lucifer can't just go into you. He does need permission. Yeah. She so, gets at the end of the Right. Episode. But that's why he can't just be like, yo, Leo, here I am. Ha ha. Surprise, motherfucker. Yeah. He I, needs permission. Leo probably already sold a soul, but that's neither here nor there. Oh, is that why his girlfriend's always 21? I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, this, this, this episode was cool. Like I said, the. Bobby, Bobby's an OG, man. Bobby is my dude. I love B- him and Dean. Oh, this is the one where Bobby stabs himself. Oh, that's right. I thought that was in the next episode for some reason. Yeah, Bobby gets overtaken by a demon, which I didn't catch when Bobby was initially like, Sam, lose my number when this is over. I thought it was like- That was no, out of character. No, but like, Bobby, you're correct. In, in my head, I'm so fed up no. with Sam's bullshit that I'm like, Bobby- but Bobby is the father that they deserved. And he, I know, he it, tries to be the father that John wasn't. And he's been doing that their whole life. I know, but I was caught up in the moment. All right. I was a, I was a victim of the moment where I was like, Bobby, that's right. You tell him, you tell him. And then it turns out Bobby was taken by a demon. I was like, Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And to Bobby snaps too, after he's about to kill Sam and cause Meg's back and, or not stab Sam. Sorry. Was he's about, to, he's about to kill yeah. Dean and Dean's like Bobby and Bobby snaps too, stabs himself. They rush into the hospital. 
And I thought, I post on Twitter. I thought that I thought Bob, I'm, I'm convinced Bobby is dying at some point. And I, I, when he stabbed himself, I was like, that is not how my man is going out. I will not stand. I was a hell of a way to go out. Sacrifice yourself. No, I was <laughs> mad because I love Bobby and I would die for Bobby. You're like, there's mad. 11 more seasons. I was you like, you are Bobby. not going to kill Bobby in season five. Was it damn it, Bobby. 13 or 14. Okay. That was really good, by the way. But <laughs> <laughs> you're not killing Bobby yet. No, no. And then he lives. and But he, he has no legs because the, the angels come back and they're fucking with Dean and Sam. And like, I can make Bobby walk again. Uh, Dean, you got pancreatic cancer. Sam, your leg is broke. You're going to work for us. And that's when Cass lungs. comes back. Because at the beginning of this, Cass was blown to pieces by the archangel. And Cass is dead. But Cass came back, surprisingly. And he's like, I don't think so, buddy. And uh, yeah, it was really cool. Because this is where we find out the sword. Uh, Dean's, the, Dean's the flaming sword of Michael. Yeah, which is interesting. Interesting how that. When you think back through the okay. next 10 seasons. Yes, very much so. So, but you, when you go back, I think it was season two where they thought they saw an angel or they were dealing with an angel. And remember the pastor guy, they see a picture of Michael and they're like, oh, that's Michael and his flaming sword. And Dean is said flaming sword. Well, so, you know, fun. that makes sense. Okay. It's just a well, fun callback. Was that it intentional? Is, it is- I don't think so, but. Still I'm fun. excited to see how it plays out for the next 10 seasons because I know the apocalypse isn't going to last for 10 seasons. It's going to wrap up probably in this season, but it's... Oh, you're now... So the finale for this season was Eric Kripke's story. So Eric Kripke's story... That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. this, this finishes his his run on the show. Yes. And you will feel very much so like the whole show is ending. Um, it's called Swan Song is the finale. And you will feel... Like, I literally was watching it and I Googled... Oh. <gasps> Well, we gotta do something special at the end of the season. We're gonna get, learn about why the Legos are important. Aw. We gotta do something special at the end of the season. I don't know what, but we gotta do something. Yeah, let's go to let's go to episode two though. So good God, y'all. In hopes of defeating Lucifer, Castiel decides to search for God. Bobby's friend Rufus begs for help when demons begin attacking the town. Rufus is back. I love Rufus. Rufus is back. This was a cool episode because not only is Rufus is back, but uh I forgot her name. Joe and Ellen. Yeah. She's back. They're back, I should say. And they're in the small town. Man, they're just demons. Demons galore. Oh, my God. Or is it? No, they're just straight up murdering people. Sam straight up murdered those kids. Yeah. So the title. He didn't notice. They didn't go. When he stabbed him. He did. He did. All right. The title is taken from Edwin Starr's song War, which is one of the four horsemen featured in the episode. As soon as I saw that motherfucker, I knew he was bad. He is bad in everything he's in. I knew right away. I was like, no good. No good. Well, him and Mark Pellegrino are like the bad guys in Lost. Yeah. Well, I knew right away. Or they were the brothers in Lost. I haven't watched Lost in a long time. I I stopped after season one. But in the end of the episode, Dean's looking at War's ring. He says, so pit stop at Mount Doom. Uh, See, I didn't get that reference. Uh, let's go, Mr. Frodo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it turns out that uh, he was playing, War was playing a trick on everybody that nobody was a demon. Sam killed two innocent people inside the quick stop. I'm calling it a quick stop, by the way. That's fine. And, <laughs> and he was, he noticed that there was no, ah, light, demon, die, boom. He was like, it's just regular blood. What the fuck? Dean over here, meanwhile, is like, you're eating blood again, you nasty son of a bitch. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it turns out that War was playing a trick. Nobody was a demon. He was just putting everybody against them, each other. And uh, it's because of his ring. And War at the end is there. They're holding him hostage. He's like, you can't kill me. He's like, I don't have to. Dean cuts off his ring and just like Sauron. Of his finger. Yes, that, that's what I mean. He cuts his fingers off and just like Sauron. Ah, a seal door. Destroy it. Uh, yeah. So was just, that whole scene Lord of the Rings esque? Mm, Did they do it like that? Okay, it was really. just the mountain kind of, part. Yeah. Okay, but you know they cut off the ring and uh, there's one ring to rule them all now for war, and poof, he's gone. Four rings. There's four horsemen though. Uh, they each have a ring. Okay, that's good to know. 
Well, I don't know if that, I don't think that's like, ah, don't backtrack on me now. <laughs> don't you, don't you walk it back. Either. I don't know the real, all the four horsemen I know is from Dexter and Supernatural. Yeah. Uh, well, interesting. I haven't read the Bible since I was a little kid and I read the kid version. So <laughs> Not a Bible. My- I don't think it gets very dark in the kid version. And that kids is when the locust came. And after the locusts, everybody died. No, then it was frogs and then it was darkness oh, and then yeah. it was blood oh. and yeah, the angel of death. <laughs> That's yeah, the book no. of Exodus. Uh, season five going strong. Season four was awesome. I've been told season five is some of the best television out there. And uh, at the end of this episode, though, Dean was like, we got to go our separate ways, Sam. I just can't trust you. And so Sam hitches a ride. He's gone. Dean's like, "That that's that. It's just, it's just Dean now. It's just Sam. No, it's but the Dean. next one is going to be Cass and Dean episode. Look, I would get a Cass and Dean. I would get a Bobby and Dean. I'm cool with Sam right now. I'm cool. Sam, bye. Because I'm mad at you right now. That's yeah, where I'm at. Yeah, I, I'm I'm, next I'm one's a good so one. invested in this series and I almost hate myself for it. But here we are. It's fun. I'm having a good time. It's a lot of fun. It is. Yeah, well, we're having fun. That's, that's kind of where I'm at. So how, if you're listening... Help us think of something cool to do for the end of season five because it's wrapping up this first part of the story. I feel like there's three distinct parts of the story of Supernatural. First of one through five, six through 10, 11 through 15, and then we have the Winchesters. So uh, let us know what you would like to see us do, what you want us to do. Supernatural Fridays, we're rolling strong. I'm having a good time, as you can tell. And uh, yeah, you got any final thoughts? No, I just no. I'm excited. This season is a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, the next yes. few episodes, I'm gonna go watch them. <laughs> I might, I might right after this. I don't know. We'll see. I gotta wake up wicked early and long day tomorrow. Mm, yeah, that's no uh, help our podcast grow so I don't have to go to normal <laughs> people jobs. That said, as always, help us help us grow. Share with a friend if you like what we're doing. Let people know. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you next Friday for Supernatural Friday. We'll see you in a couple days for our Emerald City Comic Con, Clearwater Comic Con episode. Stay tuned next week. We have a really cool creator interview with a fugitive poems. Check them out. In the meantime, do your homework. And cheers, my friends. (laughs) 